I met Mara in the Karatepe camp in Greece in 2016 and I met, you know, a very despondent woman with three daughters uh, who didn't know when she was going to see her husband again, didn't know when she was going to leave the camp and what life, you know, had in store for her. And so two years on we go to Wilhelmshaven in Germany and um, meet Mara again, see that she's reunited with her husband, Ayman. Um, and their new baby, Werner, who they've named after a man Ayman now calls his German father. Ayman said, you know, I want to give you a gift and this is something I can give you and honor you by. You know, Mara, I said, how, how, you, how do you do when you go, you know, when you wander around, what happens? She said, I always, I always say hello and I smile, but it's not often that I get a hello back. So they're very isolated. And they have Werner who visits once a month with his wife to make sure they're okay. I think they've made friends with a downstairs neighbor. But that's it. And that's what I'm saying, there's no, there's no outreach happening. So they're kind of, they're left in this family. Yes, they're together, but. They need more than that. I feel very privileged to be able to experience these things, to meet people like Mara, to understand a little bit more, to see how far there is to go and to sit with such a loving, warm family who only want to make the most of a new life and, and just find a way through, you know, that's positive for them and for the local German people. There's a lot to do, there's a lot we can do, you know, there's a lot of good and fun and enlightening things you can do within this arena. Like I say, I met some extraordinary people in Germany that fucking lit my heart on fire.